We had a musical. There's always a twist at the end in Devil's Court. With fourth wall breaking music and the credits, with the melodic TARDIS doors at the end and the dancing on Abbey Road uh, of Ruby and Shooty. We had the Goblin song with the Doctor and Ruby singing to distract, distract the Goblin King from eating them. We have had RTD directly and openly saying at the BBC concert that he would love to inject more music and even have a musical episode. He said it so. He spoke directly across to Murray Gold at the time. We've had RTD talking about experimentation in Doctor Who. This was in reference to streaming. We have the BBC in partnership with Disney that makes many musical animations and films. So music is no problem to them or aberration. We have speculative rumours that Rylan could appear, like Davina McCall did in Church on Ruby Road, or Paul O'Grady in Bab Windsor, etc., in the first series of the show with um, RTD. You have Mrs. Flood, like some alopecia Mary Poppins, ready to ascend, maybe with Brian May on the rooftop with her. You have RTD revealing on the one show on Tuesday the 10th of December that Doctor Who will be coming back sooner than we thought. We have fans working out scheduled broadcast dates and a musical episode with a rumoured galactic style Eurovision fronted by an alien Rylan or actual Rylan cameo looking feasible and possible for episode six or even the finale of season two. And since Russell Davies and the BBC and Disney thought that broadcasting a double bill of space nappies, bogey monsters and a drag queen sin an alien with a big strictly dance and song number at the end was a good way to launch the show on Eurovision Song Contest night in May 2024, how far is an episode with Rowland and a musical? How far? <clears throat> Season two is coming back. Here's my first source the one show itself. He said sooner than you think. I mean, I had thought May again to coincide with the launch of the revision as he did this year. Clearly not. Next source, um, Twelfth Night Stan on Gallifrey Brace had said that season two would be released on the 28th of March with the finale airing on the 16th of May. Now, if you move those dates by one, because that was that's a Friday or midnight, they're quoting as if it was streaming again. So there's a second source. Third source, a fan tweet speculating season two, episode six, is some kind of music-focused space concert, space episode, galactic Eurovision, with Rowland to guest star. Its speculation is episode six will be May the 17th, if it launched on April the 12th, with the finale therefore being on May the 31st, May Day Bank Holiday. If this is all sounding gobbledygook, let's work it out. So, if you take a look at the, I've worked it out on the calendar, right? How feasible are these various speculations? I cannot see the Eurovision musical idea being the finale on May the 17th. Unless it's, unless it's just a scene, you know, a moment in the show, therefore not diluting the plot or drama or jeopardy, just garnering the finale, some media attention and talk, you know, that sort of thing. I could understand that. Midday 31st seems a good way to grab people when it's a holiday in the UK and therefore more people relaxed and wanting entertainment. But I also wonder whether all this Rylan and the new Eurovision talk is less relevant, but the sooner than you think reference means that at the end of the Christmas episode, Joy to the Worlds, we get a date announcement with a trailer, and there you see a January or February date. With the five-part spin-off later in the autumn, or after 2025 Christmas episode, leading to the five-part Sea Devils spin-off in early 2026. Since 2026, we'll have no Doctor Who series unless they start filming fast, and we have no announcement yet. Unless the BBC have thought we cannot afford to wait, as in the BBC cannot afford to wait, RDD has his scripts ready, as he promised for season three, so we start booking and shooting and cast now, and actors, and hope Disney or other streamers come on board later. 
that's the possibility, isn't it, as well? So is this to rush things through, to force and pressure Disney, or just get on with it anyway? Okay, more sources. Doctor Who magazine itself. In the December Doctor Who uh, monthly, Russell Davies did say he has six new writers. Yeah, some in, um, let's have a look. Just there you go. I've appeared again. Some <clears throat> in season two and some in season three. So it's very possible they are ready. And since the BBC currently have aired Smoggy Queens, RuPaul Drag Race, and then another show about drag queens on their channels, <laughs> it's not much of a leap of faith, is it, to think that they might actually jump into um, bringing back some Eurovision-style space extravaganza, extravaganza with a camp cameo by Rylan. An affirmed Doctor Who fan, as you can see here, having tweeted his love of the Geordie era, um, so it is very possible that this could be happening um, as a plot line if, for a drag-obsessed, panto-fixated BBC. Yeah? Uh, all right, take a look at this. Fans, some fans are up for this. So is Russell Davies and the BBC thinking they can camp it up even more than Rogue, Maestro and always a twist at the end and the Goblin song? Is that possible? It cannot be doubted that currently Doctor Who is undergoing a degree of experimentation never seen in the show before. Timeless children, retconned, Davros, bi-generation, female presenting Time Lord, fugitive Doctor, Schalke Doctor Cannon, emotional Doctor going rogue and gay and predatory, Sutek retconning everything since 1976, the Cyberlords. I mean, I could go on, but you would need a health one from your doctor. I mean, with this level of experimentation fronted by Russell Davies, the BBC, Bad Wolf and Disney, they have seemed to be happy and content to push on. Surely more experimentation is on the cards. Canon, internal show logic, character consistency can all be parked or sacrificed on the altar of DEI and trying to be progressive to the minority who care. Therefore, how outrageous is Rylan in a galactic Eurovision episode with many musical beats or songs? I mean, it's not, is it? How many of us, when Russell Davies came back, expected a drag queen maestro and the doctor bailed out by a poor John Lennon lookalike from a drum? The Doctor saving himself from being the meal of a blue smurf-like Jabba the Hutt Goblin King in a new big budget Doctor Who. How many of us said now that Doctor Who is big budget, he needs a cosplay and Bridgerton episode? And a gay Doctor Who hitting off with an intergalactic villain um, to the music can't get you out of my head in the background? No, me neither. So, of course, this feels very possible. It's a very possible... We'll only wait and see. All this was discussed on our very recent Bigenerates discussion. Do look out for it because we discussed there whether Doctor Who is still relevant to 2024 audiences or not. Or whether Doctor Who was actually in decline, citing evidence from the styling content of the Runaway Bride Christmas special compared to what we saw in the Joy to the, New uh, Joy to the World's um, trailer. Take a look. If you like the look of us, of course, it would be most appreciated if you would like and subscribe, um, spread the word. And of course, if you do do that, it will be like some sort of great first anniversary gift to the sense for you because we're hitting our first anniversary on Sunday. Or if you're feeling even more generous, subscribe and it's a lovely Christmas gift to us all and the Who Pets. Anyway, I hope you were like, I hope you come back. Thank you. Goodbye.